Ugh, I can't take it anymore. There's gotta be a better way to do this. I got it. Okay, so today I'll be showing you a much less tedious way to do your trap hi-hats in Ableton. It's pretty simple really, so instead of drawing our hi-hats one by one, I'm going to use an arpeggiator tool on our drum rack, and it'll essentially take a lot of the work out for us. All you need to do is adjust the speed, and you can use that to create your hi-hat patterns in a much more fun and creative way. Ever since I've been doing that, I have not gone back to drawing my hi-hats, and well, let's add hi-hats to the song I have here. Okay, so I'm going to bring in a drum rack, put a sample on the drum rack. A hi-hat sample, obviously. Uh. Then we put our arpeggiator on it. Plug in a MIDI controller or something of the sorts. Now I'm going to bind a knob to the rate. Okay, cool. Now when I turn this knob here, it changes the rate. Okay, so you just hold on the note. Change the rate. So I just need to record something simple here, but as you can hear, you can pretty much do whatever you want. And you can change a bunch of the settings as well. I'm just going to have to do the real basics here though. If you find you can't really get the settings right, you can adjust the min and max here. 128 is too much for me, and um, I don't really want to go below 116. So there we go, in between 64ths and 16ths. So I'm going to try this again. Here is the finished product. That's it for this tutorial. I'm your host with your beats and this has been a tutorial on how to do trap hi-hats in Ableton with our arpeggiator. I have some new news this time. I recently started streaming every few nights on Twitch. Lately I've been playing a little bit of Fortnite with the homies. As you can see, things are going really well. And I've been replaying Cuphead again. It's one of the only games I'm actually good at. So come check it out if you want sometime. I'll leave a link down in the description. How do you guys do your trap hi-hats or even hi-hats in Ableton? Do you draw them in? Do you use an arpeggiator? Do you know of another method? Enlighten us all, please. Let us know down in the comments. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, check out my Patreon for exclusive videos, and I'll see you guys next time.